This episode of Views is brought to you by DoorDash. Use code NASH for 25% off your order of $15 or more. Also, thank you to Honey and BetterHelp for sponsoring this episode. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Views. Today we have Madison Beer here, everybody. Too high? Do it oh. lower. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Views. <laughs> Today we have Madison Beer here. You didn't like that one, Jay? No, you're right. I was wrong. <laughs> the first one? Yeah, I was wrong. She's a singer, songwriter, and she has an album coming out February 26th, and she's here, which is sick and super exciting. Um, I actually met Madison. Well, I tweeted at Madison um, like five, six years ago. I just tweeted at her saying, um, I love you. You're beautiful. That's, that's what I said. And, this is like um, 2015. Yeah, it was maybe. a long time ago. Yeah. And Madison fucking liked the tweet, and she finally me back and i have no recollection of this like because well of course because like, fucking thousands of people tweet no but that I, it's not you. like i was liking and following back a bunch of people you so probably i saw my like... profile picture and you probably <laughs> saw a future yeah that's definitely <laughs> what it was but like in true madison form you it's love so nerds weird. Yeah, no, <laughs> she's like hey this guy looks like a fucking loser <laughs> i love him i want to follow him <laughs> you have a soft spot for losers of course i do yeah that's well nice. it's not losers i just people always make fun of me because people are like who are your celebrity crushes and i'm like they're nerdy. David Dobrik, Bo Burnham, and like Nathan Fielder. And Matthew Gray like, Goobler. Matthew Gray Goobler. Don't even talk about him Sorry. right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's super obvious that you're into personality and that's important, but what's your favorite body part on a guy? And maybe hair. I'm like a big, like, Fuck. I like I know <laughs> the, the thing hair. I'm losing. <laughs> <laughs> Off the table. What's your favorite body part on a girl? Boobs. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't have as much to work with. That's fair. There's a girls have a lot more to work with. Okay, back to how we met. So she followed me, and then whatever. Time went by like three, four, five, probably six years. A long time went by. Yeah. And we were at the VMAs or something in New York. VMAs. Away. I need to contextualize this with the fact that I had never seen one of his videos. No offense. Maybe three days before the VMAs, my friend oh. Sam was watching. All I heard, I was I was staying at his house, and all I heard was do 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 do, and I was like, "What is this that he's watching every single day?" And it was so annoying. I was like, "I don't know what this is." And I went out, and I was like, "What are these videos with this intro?" And they're like, "You've never seen a David Dobrik vlog?" And I'm like, "No." And then I just dove into every single one of your videos. So it was weird that I ended up seeing. Also, the only reason I went up to you and like freaked out was because I just began my obsession with you. you so were like, three days before. Yes, literally. Oh, so I was fresh on your mind. Fresh, like I was on a David wow. Dobrik kick, and wow, then I this see is you. Perfect timing for I'm me. Like, like, I remember I turned to my publicist. I was like, is that David Dobrik? And she's like, who? She was like, I think so. <laughs> and then I was like, I have to say something. I must. So then we're at the carpet. And then Madison, like, I see her. I think we make eye contact. And then I turn to Jason. I'm like, Madison Beer. It's Madison Beer. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then I turn back around and like pretend like I'm like fucking changing the ISO on my camera, which yeah, I'm not doing you anything. Were doing something. Which David doesn't know how to work the ISO. On camera. <laughs> <laughs> I was fucking panicking and then um and then uh, and then yeah you walked up to me yeah. and she was a fan i was like are you fucking kidding me <laughs> i was like what the fuck it was like the it was like winning the lottery i was like can i have your number you were like yeah no yes sure I do, do i have a number i have a number but I then i was surprised because i don't know why like i thought you were not gonna hang out with me i don't think i'm cool at all so i was like he's not gonna actually like hit me up and then i remember after the event i think i texted you something like like where you at or something. Wait, who texted who first? I think I definitely texted you first. Maybe you did. I don't remember, but I just remember we ended up having like a really cute night and we just like hung out for like hours Yeah, bro, in she New invited York. me over. I was at fucking dinner. Like after the VMAs. <laughs> it was just us two and we literally bonded so hard, I feel like. She texted me. She's like, you want to come by? Like my apartment's like, it was fucking like 1030 at night, Jay. I was like, what yeah. the fuck's going on? That definitely probably seemed really sus. It was very late and I'm like, and I'm like, Playing it cool. I don't want to brag that Madison's texting me. And like, I have my friends next to me. We're at dinner. I was like, fuck it. I got to show at least one of them here. And I was like, look who's texting me. And they're like, <laughs> That's dude. so funny because I was geeked. They're like, dude, are you fucking kidding me? They were so fucking stoked for me. I remember literally you didn't leave till like 4 a.m. I didn't know. Like, I think we talked about this before, but like, I didn't know if I was going there because it was so late. Like, were we going to hook up? Okay, s stop. <laughs> <laughs> you sit here awkward but i know for a fact that you can turn on like the hot madison look in seconds i'm so awkward like people actually think it's like a joke when i say that i'm like very uncomfortable what do we say what do we say i was talking this? about how we went to we went to some random college party like yes. a while ago oh my god and david we were in some someone's apartment or something and we were in the bathroom mirror and david was like okay 
everybody, like, let's take a selfie or whatever. And it was me. <laughs> I, I was like, say like that. Why are you gonna make me sound like a fucking like the lamest no, I mean, influencer? I've heard you say that before. It was, okay, but I don't I'm it. sure you did. You're making it sound like I'm like this influencer guy who's like, time for the selfie. Okay, no, no, no. We were just in the moment right. hanging out, and yeah. we were like in the bathroom mirror or whatever, just trying to figure out what we were gonna do. And David went to take a photo, and it was like me, you, and I think Cindy. Okay. And you guys are both obviously beautiful. And Stop. I was like in a slicked back bun, like whatever, just not in my element at the time. I feel like I also remember you being miserable. Like you did not want to be there. I think like, every college trip, be here. every college trip, everybody except me was miserable. I was into it. Oh, you liked it. No, remember I like, we were getting really mad at that one kid who wouldn't let us in. I was like, call him now and tell him to get us in. We wouldn't get it. We couldn't get into a frat party. Bro, <laughs> like, it's so <laughs> difficult. And you would think if you have Madison there, it's like fucking game over. Right. But it's like. Uh, like, like she's cool, but if you're coming with these guys, no way. Yeah, no. Like, okay, wait, continue. We just we took this photo and like, you guys snapped into like you know oh, just yeah. like I don't even know I don't know what it is I don't have a word for it and I was just like. But it is it's it really is, funny. But it's like a superpower. It's oh wait, like, what did you say? You were like, oh, I'm glad I brought my brother along. <laughs> you were talking about. <laughs> 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 I wanted to save this till later, but since we're getting right into it, do you guys know the most expensive liquid in the world? If you had to guess what it is. Most expensive liquid? Like one of the most expensive liquids in the world. Just throw out a liquid. In Korea, they, they uh, like pig's urine or something. Great. Like, you're getting closer. Yeah. Oh. Cow's, cow urine or... Uh, no. One, one of the most expensive liquids in the world. This is fucking amazing. Is horse semen. Well, you probably already know about this, Jay. Um, <laughs> I know a lot about semen. <laughs> but a gallon of horse semen can go for $4.7 million. What are you talking about? Oh, if it comes from the right stud. So, yeah, I was reading an article, and it's like the fi- there's a 15-year-old white stallion, and he earns his owners $300,000 every time he shoots a load. This was in the article. <laughs> oh, I don't even want to know how they're obtaining the semen though. I think like, what's have, going on oh yeah. i know i've seen this before i think they have like our, oh i watch this on youtube all the time <laughs> no they have i think i'm totally making this up because i think i've seen it but i don't want to like misrepresent the horse community i think the horses <laughs> have sex uh, with the horses and then right when they're about to finish what a guy i'm not kidding this a, can't a guy a comes thing. in and puts like oh, yeah, a, i watched that with you oh, okay. okay yeah yeah are oh you being God. serious can't yeah be a thing. we did see this yeah we did see this. a guy jumps in and he grabs the horse semen and then that's it i don't know i was, catches it no he puts it in a tube because he opens his mouth because it's all worth oh. it, depending on how successful your horses and races people pay so much money for for the for the babies to be made. Right. So crazy. What a crazy industry. industry. Anyway, Mass's new album's coming out. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Good segue. When does your album come out? February 26th. If we're being completely serious, is, mm-hmm. is boy shit about me? <laughs> <laughs> Just my feet, David. <laughs> Has any... Does it like, when you listen to it, are you like, this could be about me? Because if, if that's a thing that raises some red okay, flags. Okay, listen, I know we like we're friends, but yeah. we're definitely not that close. Like we haven't like hurt each other. Like in like an emotional way where you would write a song about me, right? Because I feel I like agree. we're very surface level friends. Like we're not Whoa, like, like that's f- really fucked up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You better up. like redeem yourself right now. I'm cut. <laughs> I'm cut. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Like, like I mean, we're, like, surface level friends. Oh, and I quote, fuck. "Did you guys ca- catch that?" Or was that? no, I feel like we're not like we're not to the point where you write a song about me. But has there ever been something I said other than what I just said now? <laughs> um, <laughs> has there ever been a moment that's inspired a part of a song? I've never written even a lyric about you, David. Not even, yeah, a, that's not not even a line. Right? <laughs> <laughs> not even a line. <laughs> we all shop online and we've all seen that promo code field taunt us at checkout. But thanks to Honey, manually searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past. Honey is a free browser extension that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart. Honey supports over 30,000 stores online. They range from sites that have tech and gaming products to popular fashion brands and even food delivery. Jay, imagine you're shopping on right. one of your favorite websites. Yep. You go to check out and then okay. boom, you use Honey and then it automatically saves you a percent. Oh, it just pops right up. Right up. Do you know how I know that? How? Because I have Honey. Like, and you're not an idiot. That's, Man, how. I'm not That's an idiot. how you know that. Yes. What did Honey save you money on? I bought some Honey. That's so ironic. Did yeah. you do that on purpose? I, I have a beekeeping installation in the back of my house. you have to add like artificial honey? They like a little of the stuff from the store. We, I mix it. It's homemade. and <laughs> well, that, Your bees are probably so happy. They love it. Honey has found it's over 17 million members, over $2 billion in savings. If you don't already have honey, you could be straight up missing out on free savings. It's literally free and installs in a few seconds. And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting this podcast. Get honey for free at joinhoney.com slash views. That's joinhoney.com slash views the bees 
The bees, Dave. Close the door. Back to the podcast. You know what I meant, though, right? You know what? Now my comment section is going to go from this is what David Dobrik rejected to this is who David Dobrik considers a surface level friend. That's what's <laughs> no, happening. no, no. Okay, Madison. Wait. Madison. I was just, I, ma- listen. Can we gloss over that really quick? Just can we put that to bed? Can no, you go- there's no way. The surface level no, thing? No, no, no. The rejection thing. Oh. Ad- oh address oh, the okay. cameras. <laughs> He'll make sure the cameras the are on. I was telling this thing to, I was. I'm not even going to speak. I'm going to let him take the floor with Thank this and so just much. see where Thank he you. goes. <laughs> I was saying this to Jason before. I hate the the whole rejection thing. Like I hate yeah. that. Like people are like, "This is the girl who David rejected." Every or like, post on Instagram, TikTok, anything, all the replies are just. And like, the better you and the better you look in the Instagram post, the more comments. It's, it's like crazy. this is the girl who David rejected. And I'm just okay, like, that was the best joke in the roast that Jeff had. It's a magical night tonight. <laughs> Hopefully, Joe Volpus and David use this opportunity to come out of the closet. <laughs> we all know you guys are gay. There's nothing wrong with it. There's no way. Madison Beer is not your type, David. <laughs> what did he say? There's no way Madison Beer is not your type. And yeah. then I texted him and I was like, oh, so I'm not your type. That's what it was. <laughs> nice. Nice. Really pissed. Okay. So have you ever rejected me? No. Thank you. <laughs> and that's it. No. She's out. <laughs> okay. What does it stem from? It was in a vlog? I don't know. I feel like you've made jokes being like, why don't you guys just date already and like all that kind well, of stuff. Yeah, we did a podcast once where I was like, well, I don't know why you guys don't date. You seem like you're perfect for each other. And I was much you, more like, yeah, I love him. And he was like, no. I did not say no. I, no, no. But like it was you, you, the you, energies no. were like No, see, different. you're just painting the whole rejection thing even more. Oh, I was, I, I've always been like down. I just, <laughs> I just think, uh, listen, I just... Uh, Missed your window, No, my palms are sweating too much. <laughs> <laughs> but I in, think it's funny. I never rejected you. We just never no. dated. That's it. Yeah. That's the only story. One last time, I want to just apologize for the service level thing. Because you know, you know what I meant. You two I, knew what I meant, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think we're good friends. I just don't think we've ever, like... Like, inter- would you consider me one of your close friends? If someone was like, are you friends with Madison Beer? Would you be like, yeah, I'm friends with her. She's an acquaintance. Yes. Or is she, like, a close friend? Of course. No, like, no, I do. Madison, look at me. Why are you looking at them? Nothing, because Jason had something in his hair, and I was like, fix it. I'm holding up cue cards (laughs) (laughs) behind you so he can read them. (laughs) Madison, I like you. (laughs) You are fun. You are fun. No, the way I see is if someone was like, are you you close friends with Madison? I'd be like, oh, yeah, 100 fucking percent. Like, like, like if they were like, could you call her right now? I'd be like, I can fucking call her right now. I could send her a text message, send her a picture of my abs. Voice memo. Whatever it is. I don't have abs. Mm -hmm. Um, He talks about you all the time. No, he doesn't. Yeah, he does. Yes, I do. You're such a liar. This is I, I'm your music true. video on the day it came out. I know when you texted me that I was really happy. That I was say so this. Sweet. I say this a lot to a lot of people. The people that I love the most, like I talk the most shit to their face mm-hmm. and talk like the high, like the most it's, highest way about them behind the back. That's why I leave crying here every day. <laughs> but yeah, but when he's gone, <laughs> I, comp- gone I pay him his compliments. All right, here are some here are some things that I've I've heard, I've read, I was been doing some research, and you guys can tell me if these are true or not. When someone says break a leg. They actually want you to be in the cast, like a cast. That's why oh, they say. Oh, that makes sense. Uh, Did you know Frankenstein is uh, fr- it's actually Frankenstein's monster? Frankenstein's not actually called Frankenstein. Frankenstein's the doctor that built Frankenstein. I read the book Frankenstein on Spotify. Is that true? I set you up, bro. <laughs> so why is his wife called she Frankenstein's care at all? wife? What? Yeah, did you not just hear what I just did, said? Did you say you read? Dave? Well, you like nerdy guys, so yes, I actually have the audio book for Frankenstein on Spotify. You want to hear a snippet? After so much time spent in painful labor. To arrive at once at the summit of my desires was the most gratifying consummation of How my life. How turned on are you right I don't now? I'm just confused. What does consummation mean? Yeah. Huh? What does consummation mean? Constimation? Con- consummation. When you can't poop. Nice. <laughs> you got it. End of discussion. <laughs> um, consummation is when you um, make the marriage official. Consummation. Yeah. Yeah, you got it. Good job, David. Taylor, been with you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I'm new to this hosting idea. thing. That was good. It was, it was good? really good. So, Madison, you have a story about people po- pooping on each other? Pardon? <laughs> <laughs> um, you- <laughs> <laughs> Something from our private conversation from years ago that you told me about. And I just found it so interesting. You have a story about a couple that used to poop on each other. Why in the fuck <laughs> are we doing this? I'm really curious. Like, what did they That's do with what, the poop? Okay, thank Dude, you. Like, huh? everything you could do. Like, what does that she mean? told me that, like, she would shit and he would, like, jerk off over her while she was, like, shitting. Ew, you can't get this on hell? Fallon. <laughs> <laughs> but if she sees this and she's like, you fucking bitch. I don't know their names. You never, to- even in private, you never told me their names. I'll give you... F- 
fifty thousand dollars if someone comments on this and goes, "Oh yeah, that's her friend Amy." <laughs> I'll have her. I'll have her comment on it. Oh someone, shit, Amy! God damn, someone, there she goes talking about shit, Amy again. If someone can guess who you're talking about, that's fucking. You got a fucking Sherlock Holmes watching this shit because that's pretty. That's pretty badass. I told. I said, David looks really skinny to me, and yeah, his hair mm-hmm. looks really good. You got a, he got a haircut. Yeah, I weigh one fifty three. But you. Yeah. And I asked him if he lost a bunch of weight, and he was like, "No." Dave, you only weigh one fifty three. Well, that's without. That's How tall without, are you? That's without my penis. Right. Oh, I weighed myself completely naked the other day, and I tied my penis to the ceiling. <laughs> 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 and and yeah, and yeah, with without penis, one fifty three. With like one seventy. But yeah, how right. tall am I? Five ten. There's no way. Wait, that's the part that, that confused true? you about that story. No. No, I'm definitely five ten. This is interesting. I wanted I wanted to I wanted to play this game here because you play this and I think it's the fucking scariest thing in the world. It's the game where you whisper someone to something about yeah. a per- it's explain it. Oh. It's honestly like kind of like a mean game, but you have to play with people that you're but you have to play with people you're you're close with. So you you, you know how you make jokes at your friends that are like mean? Right. You can only really do that to people you're close with so basically it's this game where you sit in a circle with all of your friends and i'll whisper something to jason and i'll basically say like point to the person in the room who you think takes the least amount of showers a week and then (laughs) he'll 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 point at someone (laughs) he'll point at somebody but like no one knows what we what i said to him other than us two and then you flip a coin if it's heads you have to reveal what the question was and if it's tails the question dies and no one ever knows so then whoever was pointed to is just paranoid but there's also just the rule you can't tell someone like that's like never you can never tell anybody no all right this is a round of paranoia if it makes you uncomfortable it's because it's supposed to i can't hear shit i'm 50 (laughs) okay so i asked her a question now you point to the answer jason <laughs> and oh. that's the game. <laughs> well, that's it. No. Now we're gonna flip a. Well, coin now we're gonna flip a coin. If, you get okay. to know. if it lands on tails, uh-huh. the question dies. The question dies. You'll never get to know what I asked her. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll be paranoid for yeah. all of. And uh, and if it lands on heads, we'll tell you what the question is. Tails. Fuck. <laughs> 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 okay, really? Now I like it. Yeah. I like it. And I, am I allowed to take no. a guess? No, no, you'll never know. That's the rule is you're not allowed to play any shenanigans afterwards. That's the game? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I know it sucks. But a blue balling experience. <laughs> <laughs> just for the sake of the show, I, I just gave her an easy one. I said, who's the oldest in the room? Uh, That's it. Because I, I you know. Lane, I, you got to fuck somebody up. I know, I know. Doing? I know. Okay, another one. Said. Another one. Madison, go to Jason. No, I don't want to play. Madison. Not Natalie, Natalie. give it to me. Yeah. All right, Nat, Nat you, yeah, Nat, you go. We got to um. give him a good one. <laughs> oh, damn. See, this is why oh, paranoia yeah, is so fucked. <laughs> How is that so funny? Me. Oh. <laughs> That's not how you play. Fuck you. Like no. Oh. oh god. Yeah, who's the worst at sex? All right, Nat, give him one more. Go give him one more. Okay, okay, okay. okay, Natalie's whispering into Jason's ear. <gasps> Jason's nervous to say it because he doesn't want to hurt anyone's feelings. <laughs> and Natalie like really is thinking about it. This is fucked up. <laughs> I know. That's why this, That's game's this so evil. game is really bad. This, this game has evil. actually like hurt people. Point. I don't like this at all. Point to someone. You know when you were in, you were a kid and you, you had a friend that you were really mad at and you're like I don't know maybe this was just me but I was like we should all like sit in a circle and just write down like what we don't like about each other. Fuck. Like this game is that in like real life. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. really it's really bad. Point to somebody. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh me. Oh there we go. shit. Oh my fuck. Okay, so if it lands on hats. I'll flip the coin. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's tails. No. <laughs> <laughs> go, go, go. Flip it, flip oh, it, flip he's it. So nervy. What is that? That's tails, right? Is what it? kind of coin is this? Yeah. This one David it is, Busters? It's tails. It's tails, oh thank God. No, oh thank That's God. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? That's no, we can't, can't tell, tell you. you. No, we told you. <laughs> <laughs> Paranoid bitch. <laughs> Bro, thank God. No, well, that shit was bad. horrible. His is bad because it would make everyone in the room. Brutal. Because it's just like, <laughs> you he see how this game sucks? Me. I don't like this game. <laughs> Madison, you play this game. You have a question. We're playing with three people. Yeah, you're right. And like all the gross ones are just going to go to jail. Yeah, no. <laughs> 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 if we were in a group of like 10. All right, Jay, you, you, let's do one more. Jay, you, you whisper to Madison. Jay, but you got to make, make it, it you juicy. Gotta, you got to make it juicy. <laughs> make it juicy. I know you're, cap- I know you're capable <laughs> of making it juicy. Quiff, quiff. Okay, now Jason's asking Madison. Was hers like a mean one like that? Yeah. What? Yeah. Mike, Mike, Mike. What the fuck? Yeah, she fucked me up good. I Wait, that was mean? That, yeah. Well, I thought it was like, supposed to be mean. It is. It is, but it's like, oof. <laughs> and I'm only picking between them two? Yeah, between Natalie and I. Yeah. I mean, I know Let's the answer. Let's remind you, he called I you. I know the answer. 
I can tell you what you want. No. I would go with, I would go with David, but I don't, I don't think either of the, I, either of you. So if it is heads, I am contextualizing it, but I actually don't think either of you. Oh, fuck. That's heads. <gasps> it's not even bad. It was just who's the most insecure. Um, oh, which is just like sad. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm conceited like, oh, that, was, that was not me. That's not bad. No, okay. but it's like sad. Like I've had ones where it's like who has well, the worst Well, don't rub it in more. <laughs> Sorry. I, I would say I'm, I'm saying I, it's not me trying to deflect and you guys are like no, no it's, it's really bad <laughs> <laughs> like I'm that's embarrassing well I couldn't answer you wait who would you have said I, oh yeah 100% no, me I don't, you, Jay, I you would have said me too I don't think any of you guys are insecure yeah. uh, or at least you don't come across as insecure it was actually an easy one between these two who would you have picked? David. Yeah, me, 100%. Natalie's on her high horse, man. She loves herself. I know. That's why I was like, <laughs> right on, Natalie's so confident. David's she very she can take a dump in the studio right now. Oh, my God. Why you am I are my... obsessed with Natalie taking shit. <laughs> Cut. <You're> obsessed. <laughs> Loki, What's good with yes. that? Like, can you, can right, you figure question, this? And you question, wanted to know about my shitting friends. Oh, uh, okay. You're right. I'm kidding. We're David alert. They fight about the plumbing. They accuse each other. It's not a we thing. It's a David picking fight Natalie, you brought it up first. I just bring it up first now so you don't bring it up first that's so wait why. what's the problem no. it's aired out on air well we can't air it out because now he stinks the whole house <laughs> uh, <laughs> fucking want, constantly uh, lingering uh, okay that i think that was enough for that game yeah <laughs> so just, as uh, soon as i get hurt i'm good yeah. <laughs> that was enough that's cr- isn't that a fucking crazy game it's, it's so fucked up, fucked up especially and, like, when you're with so many people and then none, they call you on front of everyone none of so us are the same look at jason he looks like he was just <laughs> hit by a bomb and i forgot what my question was <laughs> but i still like what was my question oh don't tell me <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, up. Jay, did you forget that one thing at the store? Oh yeah, the the cabbage. Right, right. Did you know that you can get snacks, drinks, and household essentials and cabbage in thirty minutes with DoorDash? Yeah, I'm not an idiot. I know. Well, about why DoorDash. haven't you gotten the cabbage back? Because DoorDash connects you with the restaurants you love right now and right to your door. And now you can get the grocery essentials you need with DoorDash too. Get drinks, snacks, and other household items delivered in under an hour. Ordering so easy. You open the DoorDash app, choose what you want to eat, where you want it, and your items will be left safely outside your door with the contactless delivery drop-off setting. With over 300,000 partners, Jay, in the U.S., Puerto Rico, Canada, and Australia, you could support your neighborhood go-tos or choose from your favorite national restaurants like Popeye's, Chipotle, and Cheesecake Factory. For a limited time, you guys can get 25% off and zero delivery fees on your first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter code NASH. That's 25% off up to $10 value and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter code NASH. Don't forget, that's code NASH for 25% off your first order with DoorDash. Subject to change, terms apply. You're also doing a live stream performance soon, which I'm really confused about because isn't that just like, well, explain that to me. Is that fun? What, what is that like? Well, we just record a concert and then we air it. I have an album coming out, like 17 songs. I want to perform it. And know? the show you're putting on is like, like fucking well rehearsed. It's not just like you sitting on a stool. We're starting 10 days of rehearsal. No, no, it's a big, it's a big okay. sh- full show. You're putting on like a movie, basically. Yeah, it's like yeah. a play. It's it's like a full arena. If, if we were doing an arena tour, it's what it would look and like. And where can basically. people find that? Madisonbeard.live. Whoa. <laughs> that was one of my first plugs. Maybe saying. you could have a part in the show where yeah. David comes out and brings you know your roast. You know what's so funny? Maybe. They, they pitched, the, when they first were talking about it, they brought him up and I was like, what are you guys talking about? They wanted to do this thing in the middle of the show where there was like cameos basically, but like not... Like they wanted people, it was, I don't even know what it they was. And the, an the one guy? person they thought of was you. They were like, yeah, we can have David come in. I was like, what? I was like, David come in and do what? Like one less lonely girl style. Like I'm sitting on like yeah, a stool basically. and you're like singing around me. Basically. If you, you, you want to be my baby. I'm just yeah, like, okay. You're the baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, David yeah. as baby. Yeah, that'd be sick. I'd Maybe be totally down. Do a track where Dave's voice sounds amazing like somebody else and he lip syncs it. Oh, we made a song once. Oh my god, we did with Charlie Puth. We were at Charlie Puth's house, and I went in the booth, and I just started. I was ass, it. bro. I was fucking ass. It was ass. really bad. It's really I literally I, didn't. I posted. I posted a story of him singing horribly, and I was like, "This is who y'all worship." Like, actually, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, it, "What did you say?" Like, I don't know what I would do, but like, what was the lyric? Yeah, I don't know. But you made it sound oh, great. <laughs> I'm so glad that I have so many famous friends, or something like that. Oh yeah, the it song. Was so well, I actually like the song concept. It's about like having famous friends and how you can like. 
like get into a club easier oh, yeah. or, that's what it was or like it was supposed to be like a lonely island style and right. like for some reason charlie really bought into it and he's like yeah this is great and i was like yeah. <laughs> but charlie's probably just been cooped up for too yeah. long and he was like get in the booth i was like okay i've never been in a booth oh, so yeah. we started recording the song and i was like i'm so glad i have famous friends and it was all about like i'm friends with somebody super famous yeah that was it the... was all about getting handouts Damn, that sounds cool yeah. go to charlie puth's house and Write a record song a joke song he friends. should have been there Jay, I wasn't invited. Is crazy, I wasn't invited. <laughs> I have questions. Who shot your music video? Boy, Boy shit. shit, yeah. Um, this amazing director named Lauren. She's awesome, but um, it was great. Yeah, she's 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 How seriously you... amazing. I have a question. But I like have I like had wanted Madison. to do that concept for so long, and she was so perfect. Nice and over here. Execute it with. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <That's magic>. yes. <laughs> yeah. He loses control of his own show. <laughs> I love when David has laugh attacks like Why this. Why is she not? When David literally face towards Natalie and Jason. He like so is that. Madison, face <laughs> Madison, please, over here. <laughs> how do you, how do you, uh, when you shoot music videos, mm-hmm. how do you pick your love interest in the videos? Is, oh do you go God. through a huge casting thing? So I'm about thing? to say something really bad that I shouldn't say. I cast a love interest that looks just like my little brother for my last video and I had no idea because he doesn't look like my brother at all. Like looks nothing like him. I cast him with his headshots. <laughs> looks nothing like him but there's this one angle. I can't believe I'm saying this now. Everyone's going to be like, holy shit, that's literally Ryder where he's like, it's it's the scene in Boy Shit where I'm like, on, like laying on his knee kind of. Right. His head is down and from that angle, the hair and the facial structure, when we watched the first cut, I was like, what have That's I done? I literally freaked out. <laughs> I was like, and then I didn't say anything to my best friend, and I showed it to her, and she was like, "Is that Ryder?" And I was like, "Oh no!" Yeah. This is so-. And I couldn't crop him out. He was like, I was like a main part of the video. So how many oh. guys did you go through till you were like, "Yeah, that's my brother." How many? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't look like my brother. No, he really how- does. I, you know what's funny is I actually cast him in another music video that never ended up coming out. So I, I guess I just kind of like the way this guy looks. But I go through like they send me a folder of like basically who's available, who fits the role. How and then cool is that? That must like be the coolest thing 30, ever. 30, 40 of them that I just kind of like scroll through. That sounds like so fun. Like who do you want your boyfriend to, to be for the day? Yeah. It's fun. Wow. It's fun. And then if you're, uh, have you ever shot a music video when you're in a relationship and your significant other is getting really jealous? Does that happen? Yeah. Because you don't want your boyfriend, you don't want your significant other to be a... But I've never, like, kissed anyone on camera or done, like, a scene like that. That's, like... I, 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 I'm a very insecure, jealous person, so if my boyfriend... I'm the was worst. ...was an actor and he was, like, making out with some girl, I would, I would, I, I would freak out. My, but you have to also know what you sign up for. So. My ex had to kiss somebody in... Um, Did it break you? My God, I had to fly home. I had to fly home for the moment she was kissing somebody. I thought you were kidding for a second. And I was like, oh, no, this is serious. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but I get that. It was it's so, a lot. It was, it's like the most brutal thing. It can be a lot. And then they yeah. have to do it. And they're like, okay, one more time. And you're like, oh, not again. Yeah. Not another Some take. people are so good with it, though. Like, some yeah. people can be, like, on set and be like, yo, be careful with my fucking girlfriend. Like, be making jokes and shit. Yeah. But, like, no. like, no. the, the guy. I left the state, Madison. The guy in Boy <laughs> the guy, I would, too. I 100% would, too. The guy in Boy shit, the first guy where you see where I'm on the balcony, he had a girlfriend. And, like, I think, like. He oh, my was, God. He his was, girlfriend must have been fucking just throwing the biggest really, thing. Like, so, that we had to do it, like, 60 times where I had to basically, like, walk up to him and, like, stare into his face. And imagine this fucking girl. I'm sure she's great. But I'm sure she has to be like, you know, a certain kind of girl to be able to be with a boy who's going to gonna get cast. No, on to- those <laughs> that's, like- But that's the worst gig for him to be cast in. Yeah, Madison Beer's love interest. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. You quit acting right now. You're fucking asshole. You're not doing that. Who is somebody famous that you wouldn't go up to, like that you wouldn't approach? I would not go up to Kevin Parker, but he was sitting in front of me on the plane where I was like, the universe is telling me to say something to you. Like we're on the same flight. Like, I'm so- not familiar with Kevin Parker. Tame Paula. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're Kevin obsessed Parker. with that. I was freaking out. I actually was freaking out. The entire flight, there was a random girl next to me, and this poor girl had no idea who he was. And I was like, do you know who that is? And she's like, no. And I just, like, spieled to her for, like, 45 minutes about him. And she was like, who are you? Like, stop talking to me. And then I was getting her to, like, encourage me to say hi to him. I was like, tell me to tell, tell say me. Say, to say like, hi. I need you to push me to do this. And we were sitting in first class. So it was literally just, like, him in one row, me and the one behind him, and then... We had just played um, Austin City Limits, the same. He was playing Saturday night. Oh, I played you guys Saturday played it during together. The day. So yeah. I played under his light rig. No big deal. You have an and excuse to <laughs> yes, go off to him. That was that my was thing. Your I was like, I have something to say. So I'm like, say something, say something, say something. He gets up and immediately grabs his bag and walks to the front of the plane. I'm like, shit, like I am not going to be able to say anything. And then he's standing there outside of the gate just waiting for the rest of his crew like with his by himself. So I went up to him. I was like, you need to do it. And so I was like, hi, Kevin. I was like, I am Madison. I just wanted to say um, 
this was exactly how it went down. yeah you're killing i was like i, I feel I, like i'm <laughs> in the moment like i really love you and i love your music and i think you're a genius and you are a pioneer and i just I, i'm just really like i really love you and he was like right on man like that's that's sick <laughs> oh my and like God. in his like accent i was like i actually played austin city limits yesterday too like I, I i really liked your set it was really good and he just like was he's like just not really talkative like i mean maybe not to like strangers i guess and he was just like how was it i was like it was really amazing oh, like that's it was crazy. so good but your set was like so much better like fuck me like who cares about me and what i did yesterday like you really killed it and then this is the worst part and this is i can't even reenact it because it's so shameful as I was walking away, I like was like, nice to meet you. I like, thought I kind of killed it. I was like, you didn't do it oh, horribly. No. It's not like you like, spit on him or something. Right, like, right, I was right. expecting something horrible to happen. <laughs> I'm like walking away. And then I remembered in my brain, like you didn't mention to him that you know he mixes and masters all of his own stuff. Like you have to say that. As oh, I'm, no. Like, mid- like an afterthought? Like, like I'm not kidding you. I was like at least 10 feet away oh, from him. Fuck. And I was like, and I know you mix and master all of your own stuff. <laughs> oh, like, oh, turned no. around and like kept on fucking walking. And then I literally went in the bathroom and I called my assistant i was like come to the bathroom now and i'm sitting on the floor and i was like i'm just such a spaz i'm such an idiot what did i just do and now all of the people i work with like all my writers and my producers every single time i leave the studio they're like i don't know you mix master all your own. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the ongoing like That's misery really of my kevin mm-hmm. parker i just hope i get to redeem myself kevin i promise i'm not as weird as i came across are you ever gonna get married yeah for sure and um, is that person gonna be like your final person yes like I'm oh not, like, shit so once you get married it's yeah. Oh, so you well, ideally, I mean, obviously, I think everyone hopes that, but I, I definitely wouldn't marry somebody. Who What's I wasn't too early like. to propose to somebody? I don't think there's ever too early if you know that it's like the right person. Natalie, what about you? What about me? Like <laughs> what? with Todd, do you feel like you're like hope? Are you hopeful that you'll be with him forever? Or do you like not see a future with him? That sounds fucked up. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm like, just yeah, no, fuck him. We just celebrated Valentine's Day. She yeah, got a nice sorry. Cartier watch. That's so messed <laughs> up. I don't see it much longer, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, I mean, like, do you like think of ever like, oh, like I might marry this person? Um, I definitely think about it, and we've been together for a year now, so it's like obviously think about it. But we've but you also like secret for like a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I feel like I know Madison I hate it too (laughs) (laughs) but I I feel like also we haven't had our relationship like in the real world like we've been like doing our own thing one oak isn't open so we don't know how it's gonna go I feel that you know when the bar is open Todd's unleashed Todd's on the fucking sidewalk (laughs) (laughs) so right now she's got him locked up in the house no but I think him and I both like we love to go out we're both like social people mm-hmm. and like when i go out like i hate having somebody like hold on to me and be by me all the time because i just want to float around and talk to people yeah 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 yeah. Just someone like- asked me this the other day if you're dating somebody mm-hmm. and uh, you're dating your your boyfriend whatever and mm-hmm. your boyfriend's liking other girls pictures like bikini pics is this a problem i think it's a problem i wouldn't want my boyfriend's name on another girl's like body pick it's a controversial topic Nat a lot probably of... would not give a shit right but yeah. like good for her like that means she's just <laughs> no, more secure I know. than i am like i that's and just me completely too. valid i'm like, so jealous of so that jealous shit. of you like i could I'm i'd call at&t insecure. and i'd say yeah. cancel this oh, landline I, i'm I so <laughs> insecure yeah. I'm, well that's also so just funny. like i've been also perpetuated trust issues my entire life and i feel like i've had like boyfriends cheat on me before and i've had things happen to me that i'm like i, I don't think, trust anybody I think in my past life someone must have really cheated on me because i have some pretty big trust issues yeah for being in no like the me, best too. Relationships. me too <laughs> yeah see that's crazy but like, no, I, i'm like so insecure when it comes to that stuff and i but it's not even like a secure and it's security thing like a comparison thing i'm just more like you're mine and i don't want you looking at right. other people i don't know i had a girlfriend once um before the one i had for a while okay uh, liza i don't know why i made it sound like that but but <laughs> like, i was dating yeah yeah, I was dating this other girl and she told me she I was like have you ever cheated in, on like a boyfriend and we did it for like a month or two it was like really quick but oh, this okay. was this was like three weeks in and she was like yeah I, I used to cheat on my boyfriend um but but like and, and I was like would you tell him and she's like no I never tell him like oh. it's just what you got to do to keep the relationship alive sometimes what does that mean and for the next like three weeks I went with it I was like yeah that makes sense and then I fucking <laughs> and then it like hit me like two weeks in because then I started to like her more I was like holy fuck this bitch is about to cheat on Wait, me she <laughs> That's yeah, that's like that's so that, and wrong. that's when I got really fucking scared, and I think that's where from then I I was like fuck to keep the really and, that, and that's why I've always been like so scared of someone cheating on me because it's like what the fuck what the fuck. Well, yeah, I think like relationships are like I'm forming a bond with you where I trust you with my heart, and if you're 
gonna cheat on me or like do something behind my back that you wouldn't like dr phil one of my favorite people as well he always says that like cheating He'd is never anything. cheat on you cheating is any, he would he would never cheat no. on his wife april i think her name is or robin robin robin, robin april i don't know where that came from <laughs> that was good you i guess happens dr phil, phil sometimes oh. <laughs> <laughs> my wife robin get it right madison wow that's really good but he always says cheating is anything you wouldn't do with your significant other in the room and i believe that i firmly believe that like i think if i heard my boyfriend talking about a girl like who's not me and any you know what i mean like i would be like what the fuck right, are you right, doing right. and like i don't know i think relationships are just tricky and if you're not ready to be in one don't be in one because you Damn. can really mess with someone's head and someone's heart if you like break their trust like it nothing hurts more and i feel like every person has experienced this who's been in a relationship but then like if you're going through your boyfriend's phone you already have like a little bit of trust issues with you're like shaking like i don't want to i don't want to find what i'm looking for but i'm probably going to and it's the worst feeling if you especially if you do you're just like, man, I love you, and I think I know you, and I don't know you, and that hurts so much. You and me in a relationship would be we fucking would just be a like, disaster. Show me your <laughs> we, we wouldn't even be using our own phones at this point. We would have just switched phones. Yeah, we would both have our assistants running our Instagram, so neither of us looked at our feeds or anything. Jay, what are some things that are getting in the way of your happiness? I lost my kite the other day flying it. Yeah, okay, well, if you have more problems, BetterHelp will assess those needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. You can connect in a safe and private online environment, and you can start communicating in under 48 hours. It's not self-help. It's professional counseling done securely online. You can send a message to your counselor anytime, and you'll get timely and thoughtful responses. Plus, you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions all without ever having to leave your room. How amazing is that? BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches, and there's a broad range of expertise available, and it's more affordable than traditional counseling. Anything you share is confidential. Yeah, I love better help. They offer licensed professional counselors who are specialized in depression, stress, relationships, family conflicts, and many more. So many people have been using BetterHelp. They're recruiting additional counselors in all 50 states. I want you to start living a happier life today. And as a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting our sponsor at betterhelp.com slash views. Join over 1 million people taking charge of their mental health. Again, that's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash views. I would like you would be like good in a relationship though. I feel like you would. I feel like I always ask for one, but then when I think about it, I'm just like. Okay, there's like this cigarettes after sex song that i really love they're like one of my favorite bands and there's a lyric that literally the song's called cry yeah i do that a lot (laughs) after sex too actually (laughs) before and after for me no cigarettes though i hate tobacco he if they there's (laughs) a lyric full of tears there's a lyric in the song that's literally the chorus is like it's making you cry every time like basically it's like i can't be faithful to you but hopefully one day i will be and he's like completely telling this girl basically like, i love you but i won't be faithful to you so like i'm asking i'm the reason i'm saying that is there a reason that you feel like you wouldn't be in a relationship do you feel like you couldn't be faithful do you feel like no you i be, would like- never ever ever fucking cheat like when i was in my last relationship like i couldn't look i couldn't function i was like i'm not looking at another girl madison i would have never met you if i was in a relationship like right. I, I would have never like let you so you feel like it me. puts kind of like hinders on life. It's kind of yeah. Like, like if if I if we made eye contact, but, is it, but then is it worth it? You have to like weigh out the pros and cons of like is it? That's what I'm saying. This was when I was young and I was like it, yeah. I was an idiot. But like but like if I was in a relationship and we made eye contact, I would have been like nope, and I would have never fucking had a conversation Good with for you. For you though, I think that's yeah. Like, but it's like it's too much. It's like what the fuck are you doing, bro? Like still live know. your life and do this. But I yeah, think still live your I, life. I but totally... like if you find someone, like I also kind of think it's like sweet and romantic to. Listen, Cut I'm, everyone I, else off, because what 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 is everyone else gonna offer you if you found someone who like loves you? Because like everything's smoke and mirrors too. That's the whole thing about life is that everything's bullshit. And like if you find someone who loves you and respects you and trusts you and that you trust and that makes you feel good and like gets you, there's not much better out there. So I think that's, that's why a lot saying. of people's relationships end is because they're always searching for something better and they're always like, well, what else is out there? It's like nothing else is out there. So if you're happy. Just be happy. One day it'll just be me and Natalie, and I know that uh, I know that me waiting this long will be you, worth it. You guys already live together. It's super easy. She's moving out. Yeah, I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, I think Natalie's my scapegoat when we talk about relationships. I just like make a joke about Natalie just to not like actually say the truth. I'm going through a lot of stuff. <laughs> oh. That's all the time we have for this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for listening. Madison's album is coming out. Guys, go buy it. The songs are sick. Um, Sorry, that's the first time I was doing that. That, that's, of, that was good. That was pretty Keep sick. it going. Good. <laughs> you stop, though. I just got nervous. <laughs> it was good. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys later. Go check out Madison's album, February 26th. Go check out the rest of our social medias. And uh, we'll see you guys later. My name is Jeff. Bye. <laughs>
ruined Fight Club for my friend, and like I feel so bad because that's one of the best cinematic twists oh, yeah. in my opinion. It's, and it's I'm his like, imagination. Wait, I've never <laughs> seen it. 